Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a lollipop chart right inside of Microsoft Excel, a program you probably use every single day, but I bet you didn't know how to make this cool chart. I actually posted a question about a lollipop chart that I was making on Twitter, and the response that I got made me realize that not everybody knows how to make these charts yet inside of Excel. You don't need a lot of hacking on the back end. It really is just in a few clicks, you can have a beautiful lollipop chart. What is a lollipop chart? Well, it's just like it sounds. It looks like a lollipop. There's a tiny little stick and then the actual data is represented by a circle or a dot that is sort of your dot marker. You can use lollipop charts in the same way that you use traditional bar charts or column charts where your column is going up and down to represent the data that you have in your chart. The lollipop is going to represent the data by just that little dot marker um, and sometimes it's even better for our brains or eyes to sort of see where that dot lines up against a common baseline or against other uh, pieces of data. So you'll see that in the, in the example that I'm making, um, but I hope you follow along, rewind to the beginning and follow through uh, with your own data. And if you'd like to download the spreadsheet that I'm working with, you can get the download link in the comments. So follow along and enjoy this beautiful tutorial on how to make a lollipop chart. All right, so here's my data. And today I'm visualizing overall experience ratings that we have on like a customer satisfaction survey. And this is just the top two box rating. So if you have any surveys like this, I bet you have like a five point rating scale that you have visitors fill out. And a lot of times what we do is we combine those top two options. So this is the percentage of people who either selected that fourth position or fifth position on that overall experience rating scale that we have. And I made it into a column chart at first and you can see I have our yearly trends here 2017 through 2021 and then quarterly trends for 2021 and monthly trends uh, for 2021 as well and this would be a perfectly beautiful chart to give to your audience it's it's nicely done the axis is labeled the bars are nice and thick we've adjusted the gap width and some of the colors are not exactly the default color this isn't the default XL blue that you might get immediately so that's pretty nice. But maybe I want to have a little different chart type here. And this is going to be where we get our lollipops. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this chart. I'm just going to go ahead, right click, copy, go ahead and right click, paste. And this gives me just a copy of the bar chart that we have, the column chart that we have above. I'm going to change the chart type by activating the chart, going up to the chart design tab, and then clicking on chart, uh, change chart type on the menu. You get your chart type menu here. I'm going to go ahead and change it to a line with marker. Go ahead and click on it. Now you can see my chart changed to a line chart here. I want my dots or my markers to be nice and big because those are going to be what serves as the heads of the lollipop. So I'm going to go ahead and click those. Go over to my format data series menu, click on the marker option, and then I'm going to make sure that built-in is selected. It's in the circle option right now. It's set to five points. I want it to go up to, say, 14 points. You can play with this and see how, how, how big you want them on your data. And then I don't need this connecting line here because these are going to be lollipops. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, click the data series, go over to the data series option, Click the paint bucket. That gives me a line option or a marker option. Right now I want the line option and I'm going to click on no line. When I do that, the connecting line goes away and I just have dots. Now I need the sticks in the lollipops. And you could probably just draw a line from top to bottom and do that 20 times, um, but that's going to take a long time. So go ahead and activate your chart. Go up to the chart design tab on the ribbon. Go ahead and click on the Add Chart Elements menu on the upper left and go down to the Line menu. Now it says None, that's default, and then you have this option for drop lines or high low lines. We're going to use the drop line, so go ahead and click on that. And you can see that the lollipops have already shown up. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust these lines. You can edit them just like any other lines in Excel. So click on them, make sure that they're all activated. Go over here to the Format Drop Lines menu. And right now you can see the width is set to 0.75 as default. I want them to be thicker. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe put them up to three points. That looks pretty good. Now you could keep your grid lines and your axis if you wanted to. Uh, you could also just get rid of them if you want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the grid lines, get rid of them them, get rid of the axis, because I'm going to directly label each of the bars. So I'm going to go ahead and click the data series. I'm going to right click and then click on add data labels. By default, they pop up to the right, but I want them to be above. So I'm going to go ahead. Uh, once they're selected, I'm going to click on the little bar chart icon, 
go to the label options menu and then down here under label position I'm going to click on above and that puts the labels right above the dots you can even edit the text I'll make it the same blue and maybe make it bold and maybe put it down a size but you can get a nice little trend here from the lollipop uh, instead of the bar chart and it serves the same purpose but it really kind of is a little bit more unexpected I think your reader um, might find it a little bit more engaging too so I hope you make these lollipop charts in your own work and if you have any questions make sure to put them in the comments below I'll go ahead and try to answer them and if you want to download this workbook as a template feel free to check out that download link in the comments as well have a great day and thanks again for watching